Welcome to a demonstration of a simple guessing game. In the spirit of thinking before programming, we're going to explore how the game is played. This will be used as an example along with several tutorials for building applications using Eclipse and the Java language. Imagine we have a game. We have Craig, the game master. And we have Nick, who's the player of games. Craig thinks of a secret number. This time it's 253. It's secret, so he hides it from Nick. Craig then asks Nick, guess a number between zero and a thousand. Nick thinks for a moment and says, okay, 500. Craig then tells him, wrong, guess lower. So Nick says, 250. Guess higher, says Craig. Nick comes back with 300. Of course, Craig says, guess lower. Nick responds, 253. Excitedly, Craig says, amazing, you got it in four guesses. This is our simple guessing game. We're going to create applications that allows users to play this guessing game. The computer will act as the game master and the player will act as the player of games. Let's explore a little bit more of what we did here in this game. Before the game started, Craig, the game master, created at random a secret number between zero and a thousand, then hid that from Nick, the player. In each round, Craig started by asking Nick to guess a number within the range. Nick's first guess was 500. After each guess, Craig evaluated the guess to determine if it was higher or lower than the secret number, and then responded, telling Nicholas that it was wrong and which way to guess next time. Nick came back with another guess in the direction that Craig had mentioned. Craig evaluates the number again, and so on until Craig evaluates the number instead of saying to go higher or lower. Finally, on the fourth guess, the fourth repeat of the actions, Nicholas came up with the number that was equal to the secret number. In this case, the choice was to announce that it was correct and how many guesses it took. So what are the steps in playing the game? First, set up the game and choose a secret number, then ask for a guess. The user will make a guess, then, if the guess is less than the target, say guess higher, go back to step two. Basically, you can see we're making a decision, and then we go to repeat something depending on the value of the decision. Or B, if the guess is greater than the target, we say something slightly different, then we still go back to guess two. And for C, if the guess equals the target, we move on to step five. We should be thinking as we evaluate these steps about the proper way to write decision type statements and the proper way to repeat things. Although the repetitive nature of this one is a little bit different because we're going to mostly be working with client server where some things happen on the server and some things happen on the client. Step five, basically the players guess the correct number so we tell them they got it right and how many guesses it took. Let's think a little bit more. Who does what in these steps? The game master does most of the things. The only thing that the player does is make a guess. So if we were to write an application for this, most of the things would be done on the game master side of things, possibly a server. And the only thing that the player would need is some way to enter a guess and make the guess. Let's think a little bit more about what are some components we might need to include in a game. Well, we need to have the game master or some server side application. We need a player. The player looks at a browser or a mobile app on their smartphone, so they'll need a client side application to submit a guess. You can also think about there are lots of numbers used in this. It might be nice if we create a special way to work with numbers. For instance, we need a target. A target needs to behave in such a way that we can get a random value. There's a guess. Also, there's a minimum of guess range, and of course, the maximum of the guess range. Finally, there's the number of the guesses that are made. It starts with the first guess, and then increases by one each time a new guess is made. So if we create a game to play the guessing game, these components we're gonna to have to take into account in addition to the list of steps for playing the game. This has been a Piercy production.